silence your cell phones now. Is that a burnt orange 1993 station wagon? Or is it? Ah, who are these unstoppable warriors? We're the Mitchells, the only people who can save the world. Ah! I'm super sorry, everyone. What's going on, YouTube? It's SCN Place to Be Children, Mr. Andy. Back you guys on the movie experience this weekend. We got a couple good movies that came out for you guys. And this weekend, we Netflix has a new movie as you're doing. We release a new movie every single weekend. And this one was something that I actually kind of slept on a little bit. I reacted to the trailer a while ago, but I was wondering if it was going to be any good. It's a new animated movie called The Mitchells versus The Machines. So this is a, a, a Netflix-owned project an, uh, animation movie here, and I was just like, oh, gosh, one of these things. I don't know how good it's going to be. But I, it surprisingly, it, it, it took me by surprise, that, honestly, that I actually gave it a second watch, believe it or not. Uh, so we're dealing with this girl named Katie who's kind of, you know, weird, kind of an oddball and everything like that. So it's her whole family and everything like that. Well, now she keeps finally gets accepted to this college that, 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 that she wants to uh, for about to technology. But her father decides to cancel her plane ticket to California and take a cross-country trip all the way over uh, to, to take her to college because he feels the family is being more divided by the technology and the cell phones. And meanwhile, we do have uh, this guy, I forgot what his name is, who creates the this technology of these robots, who starts taking over the world space like, like a robot apocalypse. So it's up to the Mitchells to take all these robots and help save the world. I know it sounds ludicrous, but you know what? It's actually pretty dope. So uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to give you guys the good. I'm going to give you guys the bad. I'm going to give you guys the experience. Starting off with the good. So off the bat, the casting is good for this movie, uh, per se. I enjoy the animation. And honestly, the animation is kind of like, uh, how do I explain it? Uh, it's it's like it's like a little bit of the illumination type of, of, of uh animation type thing. It's, like, it's, it's not like a studio like Pixar or Illumination or DreamWorks or anything like that. It's just, you know, Netflix properties. So I haven't looked into it, but the animation is, is done pretty good. A lot of cameos, and, uh, a lot of good actors in here, such as uh, Abby from um, Broad City is here who plays the character of Katie, and she looks pretty good in, in the character. And you know what? The one thing I like about the movie is the family is really relatable. Like, if anybody has, like, if they feel as though they're weird or growing up, stuff like that, like, my my wife has a very dark personality, something like that, and I was like, I think she can relate to a lot of things as it goes on in this movie. And I was just like, you know what? I've met families like that. Like, my family is not necessarily just weird. They are embarrassing, but they're not necessarily as, as like, you know, weird or in that kind of creativity aspect like, like that. But this thing is a... A, a lot a lot of you guys can relate to and like i said it's a simple it's a simple plot because it actually does make sense that when it comes to society today and how we are at the, you know at the begging mercy of technology and they put a lot of those kind of technology jokes uh on right now one of my favorite parts of the movie is when uh you, uh, the big bad who actually is it's like a cell phone so and she and they cut off all the wi-fi that scene alone had me dying, okay? Because I was just like, yo, that can, you know what I'm saying? Like, people, like, what well, you have, like, we, we are so sometimes slaves to our phones and slaves to technology and things like that. I I, I think that, you know, this this movie uh, did a good job, like, you're playing up on that, on that kind of things. And one thing, another thing is funny. You know, so, uh, my uh, Rudolph is in the movie, and, you know, this, this, this name, a, a few. Uh, people that's uh, in the movie. I'm like, you know, a lot, a lot of comedians in the movie. I, I thought it was, I thought it was really funny. Like the jokes weren't forced. The jokes weren't. It's like, well, we're trying to be for kids, but we want to do some adults in there. Like it, it felt like good humor to me. Like I found myself laughing more times than I did in this movie. Yeah, I thought I was going to laugh in this movie. Hold on a second. What's a Furby? <laughs> And it actually, it actually shocked. I wasn't expecting this from this uh, kind of a uh, Netflix style movie, and I was like, okay, because look, we just got off of Th Thunder Force, okay, and we just see how bad that was. So I was just like, well, let's see, you know, what we're gonna do next, next for Netflix. Netflix, but I, I think I like it this way. Probably going a little bad. We're probably a little nitpicking a little bit, but let's go into the bad. <laughs> Nothing really bad. In the movie that, that like that bothered me like if, if there's any bother me that uh or nitpicks and it, it really it, it really i really don't have too much 
negative necessarily to say about the movie. I, and that what people enjoy and that I really enjoyed the movie. So like I said, I mean, if you just were talking about the two robots that follow them around and then who try to uh, come off as humans, I, I was like, well, they, at times they could be annoying, but that is extremely nitpicky right there. So I'm not even going to necessarily, you know, uh, call that for something. But uh, without that, let's get into the experience. So I'm not gonna give any spoilers because you guys have gone there and watched it on Netflix. But uh, the experience was like this: I was I was cleaning up my house and building my new dresser, so I was watching it at the same time. But then uh, got so you know involved in everything, I was like, I gotta go back and watch this over, and I had to go finish watching the season finale of Invincible. So then I went back and watched it, sat down, and actually enjoyed it, and it was I was like I had a really good time with this movie. It, it shocked me. So my expectations were very 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 low when it comes to this Netflix movie. So. Uh, I think it's a really good time. You guys go out there and check this thing out. The animation is good. The characters in there is good. It's a simple family movie, with, especially if you if you are consider yourself weird or out the box type of family. Well, then this will be the movie for you. So I'm going to give the Mitchells versus the Machines a B plus. I really I really enjoyed this animation movie. It, it really shocked me. And I hope you guys go out there and check this thing out. Uh, also, make sure if you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button for movie experiences and reviews every single weekend. I I got I have so I have a backlog of movie experiences for you guys that I want to get out for you guys. I should have been out to be honest with you. Like my my, my classic Mortal Kombat review should have came out today, but they're going to be be behind. It actually should have came out last week, but. I think I may release them during the week just to get 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 the stuff out, also just to help you have, have things going. So we'll we'll see how things uh, necessarily uh, work themselves out. So we got we got to see if things work out. All right, so uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you guys enjoyed my review. And once again, this is NCN Place to Be, Joe Chamberlain, and I'll see you at the movies.